Some South Coast Massachusetts COVID testing sites also brought people inside or were shut down altogether. But we're following some breaking news this new time of a massive test kit availability as millions of COVID tests are on the way to Massachusetts with students and teachers first in line. Erica Ritchie's in our studio with those breaking details. Well, Danielle, the guidance changing again. Now the DPH in Massachusetts says only if you're symptomatic or a close contact to someone who is COVID positive should you be taking up a test. And if you do need to swab a rapid antigen test, just fine. We do not believe, DPH does not believe, by the way, the CDC and the federal government don't believe either that you need a PCR test to go back to work, to back to school or back to childcare. We believe the antigen tests which are enormously accurate, especially on the back end of contagion, um, are a perfectly suitable solution. That's why Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker announced today the delivery of 26 million rapid antigen tests over the next three months. It's part of a contract the Commonwealth has with iHealth, the same company that supplied the 2.3 million rapid tests given to municipalities and educators around the holidays. This new batch will come in rolling shipments, he says, beginning this week and will vary in amounts between now and March. The priority, Baker says, K-12 schools and daycares. The goal, to keep schools open. We should be doing everything we can to make sure the kids get that 180 days of in-person learning because it's critically important not just to their educational development but to their development period. And Governor Baker also announced this morning that he is activating 500 members of the National Guard to address staffing shortages at medical facilities across the Commonwealth. That's in addition to the 500 he activated for the same purpose earlier this month. Live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.